we're just going to do a short video clip um, and I'm going to show you how to do um, a distal um, hallux wedge or otherwise known as a cluffy wedge um, just on an off the shelf device. So I've got here um, a bio-advanced full length uh, EVA off the shelf orthosis um, and with this one as well we've also got a first net plug which we can remove which I'll come to in a moment. Now the idea of using um, a distal hallux wedge or, or a cluffy wedge is that we wedge right underneath um, the first um, or underneath the hallux uh, and the idea is, is to post it so we're preloading that joint if you've got a patient with a functional hallux limitus. And the only things you have to make sure is that they've got the range of motion in that first MPJ, you haven't got any osteophytic lipping um, or any pain in that joint or any reduced range of motion. So this really is for patients um, who have got a functional hallux limitus um, and you want to add something else other than just a cutout underneath the first. Okay, so this is a very quick and easy adaptation to do. Um, and I've just got a long strip there of 3.5 degree posting. Could use five degrees, but we'll start with, with the smaller one. And I'm just cutting a small strip off, and you probably want that about the same width um, as your patient's big toe. Now, when we do this, you want the thickest end um, towards the distal end of the device. So basically, when you're looking at it side on, you've got the thick end here and a thinner end going towards the MPJ and what that effectively does in the shoe is almost gives it a little bit of a rocker. So, the other thing you need to bear in mind, I'll show you on the foot model here, is that the posting needs to come further enough down so that you're dorsiflexing the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. If we come too far back you'll be putting too much pressure and you'll be dorsiflexing the wrong joint so it has to come right underneath right back to the first MPJ there. So we just stick it on, again like I said with the thick end on the distal bit there, which is why it's called a, a distal hallux post. Trim that off. Do use sharp scissors as well because that will save your wrists in the long run. Um, and the good thing about this device is that we've got a removable uh, metatarsal plug there as well, so I'll just take that out. And if you've got a patient with a functional hallux limitus, um, you've got the distal post to help engage um, uh, the, the windless mechanism. And then we've got the spot there for the first MPGA to drop down into. And that's really, really helpful with patients that have this condition.